Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This time, with the Christmas feel, principles of Christmas, that will be a blessing to you. Now, I'll be covering a couple of Christmas issues, by bringing life principles through the Christmas season, hoping that it would be a blessing to you. I'm not too sure that I feel Christmas the way we used to when we were kids, because I mean, the times are hard, you know. Uh, we, we have to do something, make the best out of a bad situation for each and every one. COVID or no COVID, Christmas is still Christmas. God's good news towards humanity. Right. Now, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts on virgin conversations. Luke chapter 1, 31 to 35. You remember when an angel came to um, Mary and then uh, spoke to Mary? Now, I. I'm very, very interested. I want God to talk to me. I want God to tell me things. I want God to do things in my life, just like Mary. Fantastic conversation, powerful conversation with powerful principles and truth, that we, things that we can follow. Now, I like the word. Now, God Almighty, God Almighty, I mean, uh, sovereignly, powerfully, one who sits on the throne, decided to visit humanity and decided to borrow the womb of humanity in order to birth his purpose, in order to birth his plans. And guess what? I'm, I'm very particular about the type of person who was chosen. And the Bible says, Mary, a virgin. Mary, a virgin. Now, I, I'm, I'm very, very intrigued by it. I mean, I, there are many other women in the Bible. Uh, there are many other people there. Why specifically um, Mary, who was a virgin? And uh, why, why the need for a virgin? After all, uh, when he was choosing, one of, uh, one of uh, Jesus' uh, great-great-grandmother was Rahab the harlot. I mean, she was a prostitute. Another was Ruth. I mean, uh, different, different people who uh, don't fit the, 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 the caption virgin. So why, I mean, uh, virgin? Then I realized one thing. A virgin is, is somebody who has not been touched by a man. That means no man has touched her. No man has even introduced himself to her in, in, in a particular way, in, 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 in a nuptial way, in a way that, let me just say it plain and bluntly, in a sexual way. That is, she's plain, she's clean, nothing, no man had, had, has touched her. And you know what? Why would God choose that? What God was saying was that no man has introduced anything to her. No man has introduced anything. Her, she, she was pure. She was blameless. She was pure as the word pure could be. Now here's the principle for me. I'm not talking about virginity in terms of body-wise. It is good for you to get married. But that's not what I'm talking about. But I'm talking about virginity in terms of mind. I'm talking about the virgin minds. You know, sometimes other people have introduced their faithlessness, their doubt, their unbelief, their criticism, their, their, their nonsense, their garbage, their spiritual garbage to us in such a way that we cannot receive the things of God. In such a way that it becomes difficult for us. They have sullied our minds. They have sullied us. Yeah, they, they have sown seeds into us. They, they have impregnated us with things that are contrary to God. And so it becomes very difficult you get it? The concept of God or the, the issue of God becomes a debilitating, debilitating this thing on, on us. It eats us. It, we, we, can't, we can't accept it because our minds are solid. And as a result of that, it is difficult for us to receive. You see that? Look, see little kids. Kids have virgin minds. They, they don't know anything. So you tell a little boy of two, three years that you buy the boy a plane and he believes you. Why? Because his daddy said he'll buy him a plane. Because nobody has introduced doubt. Nobody has introduced faithlessness. Nobody has introduced mistrust. 
And sometimes when we are not very careful, other people will pick their garbage or their baggages of mistrust, doubt, fear, faithlessness, and dump it into us in such a way that when God wants to do something in us, our minds are already blocked. And our minds begin to fight. And our hearts begin to fight what God wants to do. But what God was talking about was innocence. The innocence of mind, innocence of spirit, and innocence of heart. That was Mary. I believe that God still is looking for people to impregnate with his purpose. God is still looking for people to, 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 to give birth to a divine process he has. And when it comes around, it's going to be virgin conversations. Well, I don't know about you. I don't know how simple your spirit has become. I don't know how simple your spirit is. How innocent your heart is. And how ready you are for what God wants to do. But be mindful. For the whole story of Christmas, it began virgin conversations. See you later.